So today I'm here at the Abu Garcia booth. This is the new Revo Ike. It has a C6 carbon body, molded over aluminum, graphite rotor, very light and weight. If you're into that anodized purple and that chameleon flip paint, it's got it in spades, carbon fiber handle, anodized purple accents, and fairly smooth little package. In comparison to some other reels on the market, if you compare this to a Tatula or a Ballistic, which is in its, in its wheelhouse in terms of price, a little bit weighty in the handle compared to it. Pretty looking reel though. Now when I compare it to the other brand, I'm not saying this is a, a significant difference or a significant down. You get a lot of bling with this, and there's nothing wrong with wanting a reel that's got a ton of bling. It actually feels feels pretty nice. And I do like this knob. You can't really call it an I-shaped knob or a T. It's kind of interesting contouring. This is my first time ever handling a reel with this kind of knob. Very nice. And I do like how the handle arm does stay kind of close to the body, and if you see, how close this is to the, the line arm. A lot of reels kind of kicks it out pretty far to the side. This is actually a nice change. There's a hook hanger here, which you can then spin that off. No ceiling there. single ball bearing supported spool so when fish are taking line the spool is going to want to lean having that support down there yeah you guys tell me if you think that really makes a difference if you, if you think so do me a favor and prove it <laughs> has a uh, rubber lip seal down at the base of the spool and you can see that washer came out to the side so maybe a little tricky to get back on not too bad Wow, okay, this is interesting. Massive ball bearing here at the top of the drag stack along with a rubber lip seal. Now, that is different. Still has a little bit of rock, which is the, 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 the clearance of the actual drag stack within the spool. I'm not sure if that ball bearing has really taken up any of that slack. That's what I was kind of hoping, to have a full, rigid supported spool. But if you like carbon fiber, it's also got that. This is the Revo Ike, $230, here at the Bassmaster Classic, Abu Garcia booth. All right, here we have the MGX Extreme spinning reel. This is the top of the range from Abu Garcia here at the Bassmaster Classic. If you like black and red, if you like bling, if you like carbon fiber, this is it, my friends. Carbon fiber inlaid into the drag knob. Does not have the ball bearing featured in the Ike reel. This reel, I believe, came out a little bit sooner, so they may have made some changes and some improvements on some later reels. Click plate, looks like a pen part, which is cool. Dual ball bearing support. Ball bearings and spools, me personally, it's not something that I'm really you know, in need of. Basically what happens is when line is being played out, when a fish is taking line or you set the hook, the spool's going to lean as the line hits that roller. That helps keep it upright translates into a more uniform drag pressure, less drag startup. Again, this is Abu Garcia's MGX spinning reel, the extreme, the top of the range.
really? Not as smooth as the Ike. This could just be a, a show reel that's made its round since again this reel's been out for a little while now. Can feel the gear set a little bit. Alright, now we're going to make our way down to the standard MGX. This is $300. This comes in below the MGX Extreme Spinner. All black instead of black and red. Similar spool design. Carbon fiber inlays in the rotor. It does have the ball bearing at the top of the drag knob. Single down below. And again, we established that the ball bearings in the spools, for me personally, aren't something that I really need in a reel. If they put a bushing down there, or just have a post that's of a larger diameter than a standard spool shaft, I'm perfectly fine with that in fresh water and salt. The only time I really want that is if I'm chasing pelagics, using 20, 30, 40 pounds of drag on a spinner, using a 100 pound braid. On a freshwater spinning reel, even when using light line, it's not that big of a deal to me. And again, that large diameter bearing at the top of the spool is also featured on the, the Rebo Ike series. <laughs> now this reel is as smooth as the Ike series. I'm not feeling that, that gearbox like I did on the MGX Premier, uh, sorry, Extreme that I'm assuming is just a reel that's made its rounds, took some abuse on the showroom floor. Very smooth reel. Almost no startup inertia when you start cranking the handle. Pretty cool looking carbon fiber handle, which is featured on the Extreme and the Ike. And what appears to be where they would have a hook slot, does it have it? Nope, just coin slot to remove that side. Sweet looking reel. Next up, we have the Premier, which is their $200 variant. You can definitely feel the difference in weight between the MGX and the Extreme. The Extreme and the MGX have a C6 carbon body overlaid over magnesium. I believe this is just your C6 over aluminum, so you're going to have a little bit more weight. Still have the graphite inlaid in the rotor, graphite up top here. Take a quick look, see if it features that same oversized bearing. Same oversized bearing found in the MGX and the Revo Ike. And bearing below the spool. Very clean, very smooth. <laughs> nice looking reel. <laughs> Got the anniversary switch off, let me go ahead. That way if there's any noise introduced to the system by the air clutch, you'll hear that. Doesn't feel that way. Very solid. And again, that handle, see how tight it is to the bail arm, to the line roller? A lot of other reels, the handle goes out wide. The series of Abu, very slim, compact. In comparison, some of the bait casting reels, the handle kind of gets off wide, wide from the center line of the rod. This is nice. It's a very nice reel. So that sums it up in terms of high end uh, reels from Abu Garcia. Here are some of the more modestly priced. This is the Revo SX. First time I've ever seen this reel in person, first time I've ever handled it. Again, okay, compact handle, kind of stays towards the center line of the rod.
bushing support. I'm fine with that all day, every day. Bearing at the top. Give her a spin. There's definitely a difference in feel. I don't know if they're using a different gear material. I don't know if this is zinc or aluminum, how it's cut. But I could definitely feel when I come off the anti-reverse clutch, when I stop a dead and kind of back up a little bit, I could definitely feel a little bit of play within the handle and the gearbox. It's not on the same level as some of the more premium offerings. But still, I, I gotta say, very compact. It feels great in hand. And if you like the, the knobs on the bait casters that have that kind of scalloped edge, very nice on the spinning reels as well. <laughs> Carrying down, we have the S10. Eight ball bearing reel in black and white. Keeping a line in today's times with the contrasting colors. <laughs> Bushing supported spool on the base, ball bearing at top. I knew one of these would get us. I feel like the wash has kind of come out of line. That's been the case on every one of them. Thread in handle. Give her a spin. Nice feeling handle knobs on the end. Very nice. More of a flat, very little contouring. Kind of that soft touch. No mold lines that I can feel at all, which when you guys see these reels that come in at these price ranges, you see the knobs on the handles, you'll, you'll get those seams that kind of you just get sick and tired and want to take sandpaper to it. Not on this. Feel a little bit of rasp like on the other one. Again, this is not a super premium reel. Not saying I can really feel the gears, but it's not as refined as say something one or two reels up from here. Your Tatulas from Daiwa, your Altegras from Shimano. Still a nice reel, nice look to it. Moving along once again, we have the Revo X. Murdered out black, semi-matte, gloss black. No bushing at the base of this pool. It runs on a single Delrin nylon washer. Standard base of the spool, which is found on quite a few reels. It's proven, nobody cares otherwise no ball bearing at the top so it's kind of eliminating some of the more premium features at this price point has a nice feel still retains that thread and handle at this price point very comfortable knob although the mold isn't as clean i can feel a seam here but it's not that jagged seam that likes to get in you Feels identical to the last reel we just tested in terms of feel. Very solid reel for its price point. A little tiny bit of stem flex. Nothing too bad. And again, this is a more compact reel. So if you want a murdered out black egg beater at a reasonable price, it's a solid little reel. I'm enjoying my time spent on some of these Avlo reels. And we will go down one more step 
to the Rocket 30. I don't think this is going down. I think it's going way back up in price again. I can definitely feel, I know it's a higher gear ratio, spinning reel. I could definitely feel for every time I give a little bit of input, it wants to keep going. So it's got a little bit more inertia to start up, but it keeps on going. So this has a gear ratio of, I'm surprised that they don't have it plastered all over the place. 7.0 to 1 gear ratio in an egg beater. That's pretty fast. So you guys that are drop shot and trying to get your bait back to the boat real fast, you want that high gear ratio. This isn't the guy, or this isn't really for the guy throwing jerk baits in my experience, in my opinion. I'm old school, been throwing bait casters and spinning gear jerk baits for a long, long time. I like a 6.3 to 1. I like my retrieve rate right around 28, 29 inches preferably. The reels nowadays are all kind of a higher gear ratio, the faster retrieve that picks up almost three, three feet or more per crank, even in a smaller package. That's what this is aimed to do. Very solid, no flex at all. Threaded handle. Take a quick peek underneath this bolt to see what kind of drag support it contains. Ball bearing. Similar drag stack design, cartridge as the other reels. Ball bearing at the top, like the more premium reels. Has a nice feel to it. I do kind of feel kind of like a dull whir. I can't remember the last time I handled a 7.1 key ratio spinning reel. It may have something to do with it, I don't know. Interesting little reel, and I dig the red. Hopefully the accurate color shows up. It is a true candy apple Dodge Charger metallic red. Pretty sweet looking little leg beater. So that pretty much sums it up from the Abu Garcia Pure Fishing Booth. 2019 Bassmaster Classic, good time so far. Digging what I'm seeing here. Good pricing, good products. Let's carry it on over to what's next.